What's going on? You have now tuned into O's Boy in Motion. Today I'm going to be showing you guys, I'm going to try to show you guys exactly what I do on a day to day basis while driving a dump truck. One of the hardest things about being a dump truck driver is you have to make sure that you're constantly drinking water, especially in the winter time. It's very difficult to remember to drink water because a lot of times people will get sodas and coffee and just unnecessary sugary drinks, monsters and all types of nonsense to keep them awake. Just drink water. Look, I got this one bottle right here, a little flamingo, some crazy looking bottle. Just something that just holds water. I, I don't care what the freaking bottle looks like. It just holds water. And it, look, it, bam, snaps open like that. You close it and there's a little button, bam. And then you just go, mmm, water, no dehydration. And then guess what, when that bottle gets empty, always keep a jug of water on standby. It's good to drink water. It's good for the body. The, the body is made up of, quote me if I'm wrong, like 80% of water, 60 to 80% of water is in your body. So if all you're doing is filling it with sugary drinks like Monster and, and <laughs> who knows what y'all put in y'all's body when it comes to drinking liquids, but it's very important to drink water. So what's happening right now is I was on hold. Well, I'm on hold for asphalt. So because I'm on hold, they've got me stockpiling, running from one plant to another, picking up hard tins, moving it from this plant that I'm currently at to another plant that's like 15 minutes away until I can, until they open up the, the job to go back to asphalt. So in the meantime, I cruise around, you know what I'm saying, and just be chilling. Uh, this is where I eat my lunch or take a bathroom break or call my homies. Well, the old buddy, did you see me come around at the three quarters? Oh, oh, yes, blah, 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 blah. A bunch of nonsense on the radio. Hi, people. Holy. 16171 coming on with a load of hard tins going to Dixon JVC. Now that I got my paperwork and I got weighed, I'm going to take it over to the um, other plant where I'm at and drop off these hard tins, drop off this paperwork, and just continue to be on hold until they tell me to do something otherwise. I may end up stockpiling again, but I don't know. Until then, I'd be chilling. So this is exactly how we're going to dump this load and raise the bed. What we're going to do is we're going to drop our rear tag axle, push that down. That will drop the rear tires. Then what we're going to do is Go open back, our tailgate. That opens our tailgate. This, we're going to turn this PTO on. Bam. A little red light comes on. Pew, pew, ambulance. And then we just going to lift this bed as we raise this all the way up our bed will begin to raise now what you're going to want to do is put one foot on the brake press the gas pedal and the bed will raise up extraordinarily fast Whee! look how fast that is oh i see some dust there goes something coming up anyway that's how you dump a load now how you lower the bed, everything is just in reverse. You lower the bed and you push that down, the bed will begin to come down, as you see. And then once it reaches all the way to the bottom, you gotta make sure you turn that PTO off. As you see, it's not on no more. Turn it on, turn it off. Now, once the bed reaches the ground, we're gonna go ahead and raise our tag axle right here, the two tires in the rear. And then you'll just end up closing the tailgate, like
here you are little mailbox that's where i put all my well most of my paperwork in so basically to give you guys an overview of what just occurred is i pulled into the the asphalt plant and i went to go drop the hard tins now basically what happens is you radio on the radio to the loader man saying where do you want these hard tins at he'll give you a specific designation where the hard tins pile is you'll go over there you'll, you'll back up to the pile you'll dump you'll raise your bed dump the load and then ask the loader man does he want another does he want another load if he says yes then you just go back to the other plant where i'm headed now to get a, another load of hard tins you have to make sure that you remember to put the paperwork in the mailbox so they can have that and fill out your own paperwork for whatever company you end up working for so they have an idea of what you do throughout the day one question i get a lot is where do you use the restroom when you're on the road or when you need to go and the, the easy answer is if there's a restroom nearby you use the restroom nearby uh in many circumstances though that is not what happens uh a lot of times you just have to kind of pull off the side of the road and put your hazards on and go take a leak outside the back or something uh, where nobody can really see you're in a hidden view you know another hard part about driving dump trucks what what i always tend to forget and i'm sure a lot of people are mad when i forget this is to remember to change the cb radio channel to the designated correct channel what i mean by that is every quarry around nashville ah, it's so bumpy through this quarry every quarry around nashville tennessee and on the outskirts has a certain designated cb channel that unfortunately i don't always remember what channel they're supposed to be on so i'll go into the quarry and somebody will be talking to me on the radio and i'm on one channel when i'm supposed to be on a different channel but that, that's one of the hardest parts is remembering all the channels to the quarries and remembering to change my CB radio to that designated channel to be able to communicate with the scale house and with the loader man because in this job communication is key to success to, to, to be safe to not get anybody hurt to know where you're going not make a wrong turn and to know exactly what you're doing you can always communicate with the people that you need to communicate with oh yes another thing that is very important to have while you're driving a dump truck is hand sanitizer i got the greatest one in existence from dollar general it's called keep safe and that keep safe advanced look hand sanitizer is super important because many times for me when i use the restroom a lot of times I just have to pull the truck over and use the restroom because of the amount of water that I drink on a day-to-day -day basis because I'm a healthy human being. So after I use the restroom, I use my little handy dandy hand sanitizer to stay, keep, keep clean and stay safe. The one thing that you won't see me with is a mask on. I'm not no sheep. I ain't about to be walking around with a mask on. Bye. Ah, you can't hear me. No, look, my smile, I like my smile. I want the world to see my smile because when I smile, other people tend to smile back. And you know what smiling does? It brightens up other people's day. You understand? That's why it's important to brush your teeth. So when you do smile, people can see how nice and white and clean your teeth is. And you won't have bad breath throughout the day because then after you brush your teeth, you can drink water and it'll keep your teeth clean walk around with a monster drink and some crazy energy drink just drink water just walk and drink water and get the amount of sleep that you need y'all be crazy drinking all these energy drinks have me all messed up and still be walking around talking about you tired how i drink water and i'm wide awake too easy some bimbo Loader man, I'm back here at your hard tins pile. Got them vote. Got them vote. Ten vote. Ten vote. He on the way. He finna come pulling up. Ski. Come load me up real quick. Ah. 
So I woke up, man, this steering wheel is good, man. Crisis. Ah, other way. So now. Yeah, Debo. Yeah, So now what is happening is I'm here at the Loader Man's Hard Tens pile, which is a type of rock, Hard Tens, and I'm waiting on him to come load me up. As a dump truck driver, you get a lot of free time to just sit around and do absolutely nothing. And you know what these crazy people out here do in this world? What they'll do is they'll sit here and listen to nonsense of music all day long. Just playing the same song today, tomorrow, the next day, day after day after day. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. Just listening to stupidity. So you know what I do? I come in to talk to you and tell you exactly what I do. Oh, look, there's the loader man. I couldn't get him on video in time, so I'm going to show you what he does. This is the loader man. He's going to drop a pile on me. What happens many times is... Uh, the loader man will load you overweight. You'll go on the scale house and then have to come back. They'll tell you that you're overweight. You have to come back, dump it, and he'll have to reload you again. It's a pain in the butt. Come on, loader man. Just load me right. Don't get me wrong. I ain't trying to come back over here now. Not today, sir. One thing that you always, 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 did I say always? Always must remember to do before leaving a rock quarry is let your tarp out because and make sure your tailgate's locked that's very important that uh i left my tailgate unlocked one time with a load of sand Woo! it was not good that day so but go back to the tarp make sure you put your tarp out because um rocks can fly off the back and crack windshields left and right you never know what could come out of this dump truck while driving down the interstate. Number one, make sure your uh, tailgate is locked. And number two, make sure you reel your, your tarp out. Now I'm going to go on the scale house and get this sucker weighed to see if I'm overweight or just on time, just perfect. What's happening now is I'm on the scale. I've got to grab the paperwork. So I'll be right back. All right, I got my paperwork. Three copies, one, two, three. Two of them are gonna go in that mailbox. And then the other one, the last one, I'm gonna keep for when I get back to base. Base. I can uh, drop it off with all my other paperwork. So my boss sees it and so I can make sure that I get paid so he knows exactly what I did throughout the day. It's like a receipt for him. Anyway. Now we are off to drop this load off. What I don't understand is the rock quarries provide rock and asphalt and everything else for roads to be built and things to be done. Yeah, when you come in the rock quarry, their roads are crap. I mean, you can't drive on these things to save your life. They got uh, potholes all over the place. Bumps, ruts, I mean, shaking left and right. My truck about to flip sideways, going like this on the driveway. I mean, it's all craziness. The things you deal with as a dump truck driver, unnecessary, Bull crap. Another thing that I always forget to do is turn my blinker off. See, normally when I'm driving a regular car, I don't care to turn my blinker on. But when I'm in a dump truck, I always forget to turn the blinker off. Because what in a dump truck compared to a car, a car, you turn the blinker on, you make the turn, the blinker will automatically go off. The dump truck I'm driving, you turn the blinker on, once you make that turn, it won't automatically turn off. It'll sit on for as until you shut it off the next time. And my brother, we work for the same company and drive the same type of truck. My brother will be ahead of me and just watch me for miles while I have my blinker on 
he'll call over the radio, you gonna turn that blinker off? I'm like, man, if you don't shut up, man, these stupid trucks don't got them automated blinker turn offs. It's on my nerves. Everybody behind me must think I'm turning for seven miles down the road. It's crazy. Turn the blinker off. That's something that I'll always forget. But my brother is always there to remind me. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, you are, Ethan. I know you are. You thinking, yep, yep, that's me. The reminder. Oh, ugly. Big ugly. I'm going to show you guys how I washed my bed out. There's a turn coming up that is utterly ridiculous to turn on. It, it's extremely difficult to make a turn if there's a car in the turning lane. So we go get up here and see if there's a car in the turning lane and see if we can make this work. Uh, it's about to suck. My truck flipped over bro oh my gosh yo we got a helicopter out here Shawuka. so we had a bit of an issue running the asphalt um unfortunately i didn't get started on it until super late because of how long they were on hold for so because i got started on it super late i'm not getting home until super late what i mean by that is I went to work at six o'clock a.m. on the dot, and I won't be getting home until about eight o'clock at night. And uh, tomorrow I'll be right back at it at six a.m. This is the life as a dump truck driver. Tired, wore out, I mean, the money's there. Uh, this is really the life as a blue collar worker in general. This is a, a life as a construction worker. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know what time you'll get home. Um, it's a difficult position to be in, but I'm here and I'm going home, going to sleep. So this is Old's Boy rolling out.
if you made it this far, you probably already liked the video. One thing that I'm certain you didn't do yet is hit that subscribe button. If you want, go ahead, smash that little subscribe button. Pow, pow, pow. A couple times, make sure it really gets subscribed so you can see all the latest videos that I post.